Now, in the Industrial Revolution, leftism basically advocated for a softer patriarchy. We advocated for society where people still had roles, people still had something to validate their existence, something that they can bring to the table. They're not just sitting home all day jerking off or starting shit just to start shit. They basically had a role and a function, but it was softer. Where the right is still soft bureaucracy, still small bureaucracy, but small government. Yet, it was in a sense favoring. I am really fucking cold right now. In a sense, it favored harsher bureaucracy than. Not bureaucracy, the fucking patriarchies. Where our roles were more harsh. You can think about it in the sense of a father. There are two kinds of ways to be a dad. You can, as a person grow up, push them harder and then lead them into a role in society. Put them in that kind of position. Where even if they don't pick it, at this point they've been given an edge, they've been given motivation, they've been given strength, they've been given so much tools that they've grown up becoming a young adult that can do whatever he wants at this point. He's the boss right now. And then there's a softer way that you're a little harsh, but then you gotta let them go. You gotta freedom. You gotta let them go eventually. While they still can have a function society. Which one is like the best way to run a son and the other is the best way to run a daughter because you want to have that daughter hitch when she's in her prime yet at the same time you don't want her to like end up getting pregnant at 16 and ending up in MTV that's not necessarily a good thing and sitting with the son let him have his little fun and then when he needs something to do you push him to the best. You make him that sports star. You make him that whatever. You want him to end up like looking like me, or you know, this scrawny fucking freak that basically wastes his time jerking off all day. It's not what you want. And it's not a way to put me down. That's just something to get the viewer to laugh. This is all funny. Comedians gotta laugh at their own identity and how they seem. Now, when you look at it this way, that's different from the leftism we have now, where it's all atomistic. Hell, even the fake new right, the new right and the new left, both represent atomism. And the old left and the old right are both part of the radical right wing. The guys that everybody fucking hates, right? So, that just tells you how words change over time. And is Marxism a self... Is it like a suicide disease where your body kills that which is good for you and replaces it with something that's bad for you and powers what kills you? Maybe. I think it is. Does that make it like the AIDS virus, where it kills your immune system. Nah, it wouldn't be the AIDS virus. It'd be some other kind of virus. I'm not good with diseases. I don't understand biology. I don't study that shit. But I'm sure it's I'm sure it's something like that. I mean. When I saw, the two things I saw this year that made me think most about cultural Marxism, on a lesser note, the VMAs, on a higher note, the VMAs. Because it was all weird, fetish, and sexualized. I just noticed that, like, there are all sorts of things that were supposed to make you feel weird all trans and shit, all sort of borderline 
cisified homosexuals. I like normal, functioning, Julius Caesar type gay, but more cisified. And everything's all feminized and shit and all creepy. And that's kind of what turned me off about it. There's only like two things, well, three things that I actually found good. The Frank Ocean performance, Kevin Hart, and Drake's little speech. Why? Well, those three guys are the guys that tend to save shit. Frank Ocean tends to save shit. He saves on future. Drake's the guy that saves YMCMB. Without him, YMCMB sucks harder. And Kevin Hart's actually a good comedian. I, I saw his little stand-up shit and I actually laughed. Although you Facebook motherfuckers are kind of ruining him when you like post little text things, text memes with his a picture of his face on it. I don't understand why Facebook does that a lot. Nowadays, you can have a photo of anything and for some reason they'll add like little texts where he's like saying some shit that he never really said. Trying to dichotomize someone. Like they did that same thing with Trayvon Martin, where there was a picture of his face in his white text that said, My name is Trayvon Justice. I mean, Trayvon Martin. Where's justice for me? Where's my justice? I need my justice. If I was white, then they would arrest George Zimmerman. But because I'm black, they don't care. All this white text shit with Trayvon Martin. Justice for Trayvon. And it was really weird. It was really dumb. And they did have a lot of things. They did it with the Dark Knight Killer, the Colorado guy. Uh, the guy that couldn't get laid, so he decided to go out with a bang. And they're like, had a white text with a picture of him looking all crazy and shit. And they said, if I was black, they'd say I was a thug. If I was Spanish, they said I was a drug dealer or a legal immigrant. Because I'm white, I was a nerdy guy that couldn't as associate himself uh other people so he went crazy so I went crazy that's basically what they said they made it a hate crime all of a sudden you know what it kind of motivates me to do a lot of crazy shit because I realized that I can get away with it no one will fucking sympathize with me and they'll be like, oh, he's an asshole. Shit kind of pisses me off what, how people turn everything into a hate crime all of a sudden. You have to be offended by everything. You have to be trained to find certain things offensive. People that advocate for affirmative action and then they say, well, hey, that gives us a bad rep. It means that we can't do shit on our own. Okay, now you're complaining both ways. You see this dialectical materialism shit where... Once you finish complaining about something, you gotta complain about something else even worse. And get the fuck out of here. You should you guys should stop speaking. This whole scenario this whole military industrial complex thing is pissing me off. And is this the goal to atomize society? We don't wanna have this dualism in us, so we're gonna be completely atomized. So we're gonna think in an atomistic way and then do everything in an atomistic fashion as opposed to a dualistic way where you're trying to think we're gonna do play the hardball or softball but no that's not what it is anymore now it's like you have to feel completely rejected and empty and lost in the matrix nowadays if you're not lost in the matrix then you're not a normal person in society now everyone's gotta be sort of not knowing where exactly they are, not knowing what they're doing, why they're here. Looking back at everything like a dream. Yesterday was a fucking dream. The day before yesterday was a fucking dream. My future is a dream. Today I woke up and I felt weird. I felt like I just went from a dream to another dream. I'm so separate and disconnected from everybody else. Why should I... I woke up at... 3 p.m. and 
it's almost dark already. That kind of thinking. Those kind of scenarios. That's what the normal person sort of thinks right now. They feel lost in the matrix. At night they can't go to sleep and because they can't speak to anybody. There's no one awake to talk to them. They feel atomized. They feel like they're completely disconnected from the world. And that's sort of the mentality that's going on right now. It's a common thing. All I've got to say is... I mean, I've been making videos like this on and on and on. Ever since hiatus and... I gotta fucking admit... That... If the patriarchy would have become more soft... Then we would have probably moved from this industrial world to a more voluntarist world with the improvement on technology. So, a lot of in industries and institutions are dying out, and the functions they have and the little hierarchies they had, we would have been able to do them ourselves. Not that there's anything wrong with institutions, they're good for social controls. Just the technology would have helped us accomplish that mission and because we're all atomistic and counterproductive what happened to you today feels like a disconnected dream and tomorrow until the day you die you're gonna feel like you're dreaming all day that you're not really aware of why you're here what are you doing you went to school today you went to school today and you don't even know how you got here you don't even remember waking up and you're definitely not going to go to bed and remember what you were thinking 30 minutes into sleep or two or three hours of disconnected rambles that you feel are relevant to the nature of society, especially when you take long showers. Yet, yeah, it's all mumbo jumbo. It's all disconnected, too. And going further and further... Nowadays, it's just getting, we could have moved from that to more anarchist perspective, where we would have taken those little groups and those hierarchies and things that would have given us purpose, and instead we would just do even more play-alongs. We could have more technology, more of a renaissance, more of a productive life, just creating stories of our own, worlds of our own. These little interconnected, little atomistic, uh, molecular societies. We would have had the nuclear society, the nuclear family, and this kind of stuff, but in a more streamlined Zeta way. The more more virtual way. And that's kind of what hooks you on a Facebook. That now all of a sudden you have this way and it's too bad Facebook sucks and social networking sucks and it's kind of useless. It's just advertisement without capital. It's non-productive. It's selling for production, basically. Free advertisement for companies, and a way for guys to get laid without using game at its finest. But that could have been a good way to establish the softest of all patriarchs. That eternal release. That's what could have happened. But we're going to go to a point where society collapses and we're moving to a progression of harsher patriarchy. So we're going to see what the other side of paradise is as long as the world doesn't fucking get destroyed and human beings don't fucking start killing themselves off. So there's hope that we can see another side, another dichotomy, the harsh side of patriarchy, but whatever. Hold on. Eh. I hate this.